Hello everyone, Rick's here. And this is part five of the series of drawing this portrait. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how I drew this curly, wavy hair. Now part of it will be in time-lapse and part of it will not be because of the amount of time that it took for me to record drawing this curly wavy hair. So sit back and relax and I hope that you can learn something from this video. Okay, I'm going to start off here using a, a very dark pencil. It's a, a 10B pencil. I just want to kind of get the tone a little darker in this area here. And so that is what I'm going to be doing for the next uh, several minutes in this clip. Now here I'm using a proportional divider and the grid that you can see uh, that uh, is on the uh, drawing paper there because I want to uh, try to get these dark areas as close to the original locations as possible just to give the illusion of uh, that I am drawing uh, the exact uh, same thing I see even though when it comes to hair you're just not going to get exact. Now you're going to notice that uh, what I'm doing is very detail oriented. It's uh, uh, very exacting. Um, I'm not covering large areas at a time. I'm just working on very small, minute areas. Uh, just wanted to get that base tone nice and dark in those areas. And this is going to is going to require some patience. Uh, so a lot of time is spent on drawing this hair uh, because of these fine details. Okay, now I've switched over to my Tombow Mono Zero eraser. It's an eraser pen. And you can see I'm now erasing out some highlights in the dark area here of the hair. As I'm taking out the highlights, I'm going to kind of blend them down a little bit as well as you can see that I'm doing with this Q-tip. Now I'm going in here with a 9XXB pencil. It's a very dark pencil and uh, I'm just kind of getting some of the dark shadow areas uh, in between some of the uh, highlighted areas there just to make certain areas look more uh, in, with depth. When you darken uh, in between uh, the various locks of highlighted hair, it gives it more body. It makes it stand out as having more depth.
Now I'm going to apply a different method of lifting out highlights that I like to use, uh, especially when there are white hairs and so forth. And that is using low tack frisket film and uh, this little tool here. I can't quite remember what the name of this tool is, but it's a very thin metal tool with a tiny ball on the end. Uh, I'm sure as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll remember what these are called. But anyway, you can use a toothpick, the end of a pencil, anything with a sharp edge and uh, use the low tack frisket or you can even use uh, scotch tape but you want to kind of get some of the stickiness off by applying it to your clothes or something a few times before using on your paper so you don't you know tear your paper and you can start lifting out highlights and thin white hairs and so forth it's great for fine detailing work and uh, i've done a couple of videos on this method that you may want to uh, check out my playlist on Okay, now I'm just going to use uh, one of my pencils here. Uh, I'm not sure which grade I'm using, but it really doesn't matter uh, because I want to tamper down some of the bright highlights. Well, it looks like I'm going to show which pencil. It looks like a 2B there. Okay, great. Real nice of me. Anyway, um, so you can go in there and uh, some of the areas that just need to be a little bit less bright, you just kind of tamper that down with. Uh, your pencil and, and so that you have the variation of shades going from dark to mid-tone to bright. Now I'm going in with my really dark uh, charcoal pencil here. It's a really soft charcoal pencil because I really want to get that darkest dark area. And then here, I'm, I'm going to start going back and forth. Uh, I'm going to be pulling out the uh, highlights. I'm going to blend. I'm going to uh, bring down the highlights a little bit with graphite. Pull some more highlights out. Blend. Uh, it's pretty much uh, back and forth. Now here I'm using my 10B uh, graphite pencil and uh, I just want to get uh, some of the areas here within the uh, hair to be darker. I don't want it charcoal dark, that's why I'm using a 10B, but I do want the mid-tones to be uh, as dark as I can get for graphite and so I'm using uh, the 10B pencil here for that. Now, blending serves several purposes. One, you really don't want harsh lines. Uh, it just removes uh, the, um, the look of uh, realism. So you, you definitely want to make sure that your lines are not harsh and blending helps to, to blur that out a little bit or to soften the lines. 
It also helps you to push the tones around. So you can see that I'm taking that 10B graphite and I'm moving it around areas that I, I want to have it. And it also gives me an opportunity that as I darken areas with the really soft graphite, that I can pull out the lighter hairs uh, from this a lot easier than trying to do that in lighter areas. Uh, and this just gives me a, a lot of flexibility to uh, bring out the illusion of uh, curls of hair. So here's where I'm gonna take advantage of all that soft graphite that I laid down and start bringing some of it up so that I can lighten those tones and give the illusion of hair. And when you have curly hair, some of the, the area of the hair will be closer to the light than other areas. And so you can mimic that by uh, pulling out the highlights in those areas getting, getting more light and at the same time that graphite or charcoal, whatever you use to darken the area, if left on the paper, is actually the areas that are farther away from the light. And then this gives the illusion that the hair is moving up and down, up and down, towards the light, away from the light. Now another thing I want to point out using this method is if you'll notice that I'm actually at times uh, using my little stylus thing here over a used part of that uh, tape or film if you will. You can see the black marks that are on that tape or where I've already lifted out charcoal or graphite and by going over that same area it will pull out even less. Uh, graphite or charcoal and even pull it out uh, kind of fragmented and it gives an interesting effect uh, so I will deliberately go over the same area of the tape so that I won't pull off as much and it will also break it up a little bit and really give a natural effect okay now I'm going to do a little blending here but I'm going to use uh, this blending stump because what's really nice about a blending stump is you can actually draw with it as long as there's still residual graphite or charcoal on the tip of that blending stump. It makes a great drawing tool. Uh, you can have lots of control over what you're blending. Uh, so it's really good for a detail, moving uh, graphite around if you'll you know, as closely, I'm able to uh, shade areas uh, very uh, detail-like using uh, the tip of the blending stump. So, very effective tool, and that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, now I'm going to use this 9XXB and uh, probably a charcoal pencil as well, somewhere along here. And I'm going to start putting in some darker areas. So this is again to give it the shadows and the depth uh, that the hair needs to, to have volume and to also uh, darken the areas that is further away from the light source, which would give the impression that the hair is dipping down and away. So as the hair goes down in a dip, it should be darker. And as it comes up to a peak, 
those would be the lighter areas. And so that's what I'm going to be doing with my darker pencils at this point. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, I do not want any harsh lines. And so after applying the 9XXB, I'm using my paper blender to uh, soften up those lines as well as to push some of that uh, graphite, carbon graphite uh, around into certain areas uh, on the drawing. But I, I definitely do not want any harsh lines and, and so blending uh, helps me to uh, soften the look. Okay, now I can see there's nice uh, long sections of hair that are dark. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of this uh, charcoal powder on this Q-tip and I'm going to go around the areas of the hair that uh, are dark and uh, I'm going to apply this powder and then I'm going to lift highlights out of them. So as you can see this curly area of the hair where it curls down away from the light. I'm going to darken this uh, all the way up uh, because this is the part that is away from the light and then I'm going to pull out the highlights uh, of the areas that are close to the light as well as to give it some uh, illusion of individual strands although uh, I am not going to be drawing individual strands. You should notice now that the hair has uh, nice variations of tones. It has light tones, mid tones, dark tones uh, by how I was applying uh, the powder uh, and so forth. And now I'm going to start using eraser and uh, other, other methods that I've already previously shown to pull out the highlights.
Okay, now I'm going to use this extra hard uh, charcoal pencil because I want to get some really fine dark lines uh, interspersed within the hair here. Uh, just to bring out uh, these very fine shadowy areas here. Uh, and with the extra hard charcoal pencil, what's really great about it is you can do really fine details. Like, uh, as you notice on the temple of his uh, forehead here, uh, I'm just going to kind of uh, feather out some lines here so that it, it, it shows where the hair comes from the forehead very lightly and then goes into the thicker mane of his hair. And this is done really well uh, with an extra hard uh, charcoal pencil. This one here, I believe it's a General's Extra Hard and it's a 2H. And of course, I'm going to tone down any of the harsh lines using my paper blender.
Well, that brings us now to the end of this video tutorial. And I certainly hope that uh, you were able to pick up some tips and tricks uh, throughout. Just remember that it basically you start with a bass tone, uh, you put in some darker areas and pull out the highlights. Use the blending tool to soften the lines so they're not harsh and keep applying and pulling out so that it, you are layering and giving it more depth. Don't forget to use your darker pencils to give it that contrast, give it that shadows, and like with the extra hard charcoal that I'm doing here, you know, really fine little details and stray hairs and so forth. Uh, you want to make sure you get all that too. Well, I hope you like this. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.